I've got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Max here. I got the keys to CBI Off-Road Colorado. This is the ZR2, I've never driven one. Today I'm gonna let you know if I like it or if it's a stinker, but we don't know. Let's see. Fire it up. Quick. So this is a turbo diesel. Yeah, Duramax. Duramax turbo diesel. Drive. I don't know if I like that really. It feels weird. It just feels weird. It, yeah, I don't know. It feels kind of like a minivan. You know? Yeah, I'm really digging the interior. It's not any bigger or smaller than the Tacoma really. I think I it's a like little smaller. It's smaller like on the inside of the walls. It's tight. It's taller. But though. it's taller. Or the seat's the lower. Suit, I feel, the seat is super low. You can I adjust feel that. lower. There were people playing with it the other day. I definitely feel lower and I feel like uh, it's harder to see over the hood. Justin was telling me the other day that um, right now there's not a lot of options for suspension on these things. And unless I think, unless you want to go like full custom and tear all the suspension out of this. So if you want to lift it, you end up putting a spacer oh, lift or something like that. I don't think like we that. can get through. Oh, oh yeah, hang a left, a Louis. Oh, right through there, yeah, there we go. Front and rear locker. Front lockers? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <sighs> right there. Yeah. Just driving a Colorado. Hi, it's mine. Turning radius is a little bit less than a Tacoma. It has a smaller wheel though. I love the steering wheel on it. It does, it feels, it feels kind of small for it's, me. It's like a 14 inch wheel. It's, <laughs> it's like, like a rally route it's wheel. It's like my shifter cart steering yeah. wheel. <laughs> it's tiny. Definitely uh, not as good of a turning radius. I, I keep finding myself wanting to crank the wheel a little bit further. All right, so we got turned away from the course because they have uh, they have classes going on. I'm gonna try to do a U-turn here, maybe go out the exit. And I want to test this thing out on the road since we're already in it. Just kind of see what it can do, zero to 60 wise, that kind of stuff. I want to feel this turbo, you know? Like, I haven't been in a mid-sized truck that has a decent engine, really. Uh, that's why I've always been so happy with my Tacoma. It's because it's the only thing I really know. I'm actually a little bit afraid that this is going to, <laughs> for lack of a better word, taint my Toyota experience. Gross. Gross. He said taint. Okay, so we're on the road with the ZR2 for the first time. Uh, right off the bat, you can feel a little bit of boost, but then it does kind of slow down. It doesn't lurch like my Toyota Tacoma does. Like if I if I kind of go from a like a standstill in my to Toyota, like this, and then I hit the gas, this has got like smooth power that just brings you right in. But then after that, you know, it's until it shifts, it's not super impressive. The Tacoma lurches, and then then you kind of run out of steam right after that. So I don't know. Uh, I was expecting it to feel really fast, but this thing's pretty weighted down though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah we've got a steel bumper on the back with a, with a tire gate. We have the rack, uh, the tent. We have a bull bar on the front kind of thing, but it, it is nice having available power. It does feel good. Oh yeah, that's definitely faster. It doesn't set you back in your seat like maybe a Ford Raptor would, but uh, it's definitely like a smooth, consistent power, and I think these are all about torque. Definitely feels like a Chevy. It's nice though, I like it a lot, I really do. Uh, I'm excited to see this thing off-road, because right now I'm, I'm feeling like there was just a lot of hype on this thing, and the turbo really sold a bunch of people, but off-road is probably, probably where this thing's gonna shine. I felt bad dropping you off on the side of the road. See ya! <laughs> Goodbye forever. Uh, yeah, turning oh. radius. Not as cool. No, not quite as good. Woo. Yeah, the Tacoma probably would have pulled that off. Yeah, even big time. Yeah, cool. It's a comfortable drive. It's smooth. I think you kind of, you like sort of forget you're driving a truck. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. lean into ruts as much. Right, yeah. yeah. And that's with the, the puck spacer yeah. lift, which sort of kind of kills the whole 
the whole point of their suspension system. Yeah, all of the geometry is shot by putting that on there. Yeah, I always pictured the ZR2 to be Chevy's response to the Ford Raptor. Oh yeah. And uh, it, it off the bat, it doesn't seem like it hits that mark, but it definitely is like a middle ground between the Tacoma and a Raptor. And I'm, I'm curious to see how a, a TRD Pro with like their special suspension would compare to this thing. Yeah, or even the new midsize Raptor. Yeah, the Ranger Raptor. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. We're gonna head back in and come back out in the ZR2 around 12 o'clock when it's like open to do the confidence course, do some off-roading. And that's where I really think this thing is going to show its true colors. The Colorado just got plus 10 points. Check this app out on the dash. You go through the menu a little bit, just like that. On the touch screen, you hit camera. Boop, and the rear camera comes on. So you don't even need an anytime camera mod at all. But it only does it for 10 seconds. You see that? Unless you hit this little X. No? Nope. Yeah, you can only have it on for 10 seconds. Watch, it's gonna flash back to the menu. Yeah. That was a real good first impression. I'm going to come back. I'm looking forward to the off-road segment. That'll be fun. Uh, all right, guys. Well, unfortunately, I'm extremely disappointed. We were unable to take the Colorado on the off-road segment, basically leaving me unable to give an honest opinion of this truck. I can't really give a fair opinion if I haven't taken it off-road because the ZR2, especially the diesel version of the ZR2, is designed specifically for off-road use. Taking it on the road just doesn't do it justice. So I'm so, so, so sorry. I hope that I have the opportunity to take it off-road in the future. What I was seeing was awesome, tons of torque. I was a little bit disappointed with its speed on the road, but I do believe that if you had the gas version, it'd be a little bit quicker, a little bit more pick up and go. But the diesel version is gonna have that low end torque, which everyone loves. And it was super cool driving a little diesel truck. Now for the big question is if I think it can compete with the Toyota Tacoma. That doesn't necessarily mean if it's better than or worse than, it's just, if, is it in the same class? And I think it really is. I think they're both super capable mid-sized trucks with a lot of different pros and cons. Unfortunately, and this could just be my opinion, I don't think Chevys are as reliable as Toyota Tacomas or Toyotas in general. Uh, that is just an opinion of mine based off of uh, several different you know, small factors, but personally, I think Toyota needs to start making some major changes to their mid-sized trucks uh, when it comes to the engine and the power. Uh, I'm kind of getting sick of having a small, gutless motor. Uh, I love everything else about my truck, but constantly trying to get more power out of it is kind of a pain. They should offer something that we, they know that we all want. Uh, we should get a V8, we should get something supercharged, we should get a turbo, uh, in order to compete with like the Ford Raptor, the Raptor Ranger, and now the Chevy Colorado. So all in all, again, I'm sorry. I wish that I got a chance to take this thing off road and really uh, uh, get a full impression of the truck. But instead, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna check out some more vendors today, and we're gonna find somebody to interview. I think it's gonna be a good day. Let's not let this damper our mood. This is again a vlog. Uh, none of this stuff is planned out and I want to keep it real for you guys so um, sometimes things just don't come together and that's just how it goes and so I'm not gonna skip a huge chunk of the day or just show you the highlights so unfortunately we didn't get to take this thing off-road we got busy and uh, the off-road course wasn't available so those are my impressions of the Chevy Colorado I can't wait to have another opportunity to take it off-road but let's go check out some vendors
Okay, so we're gonna check out this Go Fast Camper today. Yeah. I've been watching these guys since it was a concept on Instagram, and it's super cool to see it evolve, and now they're a vendor here at the Northwest Overland Rally. And so we're gonna walk around and check this thing out because it's a really cool product as far as I can see. I'm Graham from Go Fast. Basically, tried to build a camper that will work for people that want to get out on the weekend, go out for longer trips. Um, it's awesome that's super high quality and really affordably um, affordably priced without kind of compromising anything. Yeah, so it's a 065 wall DOM steel tube. Um, nice. 080, 5052 aluminum panels, um, okay. all powder coated. Um, this is powder coated like a bicycle frame, so it's primer and powder over it. Nice. Um, then we have our own custom extrusion right. for this upper section around the tent Whatever is that has for you. two slot mounts for <laughs> yeah, attaching like accessories cows. and yeah, other types cool. of gear. Very cool. Yeah. These are nice and smooth. It's it's awesome that you're it's all one unit. You don't need a camper on top of it. You're kind of putting a camper together. Exactly. But yeah, I mean it is a camper and it's a topper yeah. and it's a tent. It's like kinda basically it's built to be able to go out on the weekend, go camping, and then still go back during the week and use your trucks to truck. So you buy yeah. a camper, you don't lose your truck. So if you're getting a regular canopy, for one, they're really expensive. Yep. Two, you can't always trust that they're gonna hold the weight of a tent. And three, they usually just have sliding windows unless yep. you pay a lot, and it's still a pretty small opening. Totally. You can't really reach in and get tools or, or camera equipment or anything yeah. like that. So and I mean basically everybody's building these little shoe boxes to live in. And on paper right. it sounds great. Yeah. But a Tacoma bed's not very big. No so at all, no. Being able to hang out in this space with all the sides open in like cabana mode. Yeah. Um, and you're still outside because you, when you're going camping you don't want to be inside a little box. You want to be camping. Yeah exactly. So basically you're outside and inside simultaneously yeah. which actually makes the space way more usable than that is cool. uh, even than we ever expected. That is really cool. So do you guys, uh, do they, do you make them for short beds? We do. So we make them for every Tacoma ever, except yeah. for the step side version, okay. which is only the first gen stuff. And does it go over, I'm seeing it, it does kind of go over the cap. Yep. So if you had a short bed, like tall guy like me who's 6'4". The bed's the same length, the sleeping area's the same length, so it okay. just cantilevers out further over the Further, cap. gotcha. Yep. Cool. Good to know. Exactly. So the sleeping area is 50 by 90, Yeah. so it's like seven and a half feet long. So uh -huh. people that are up six and a half feet, no problem. Harvey. 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 Let me see them Can you sit? spectacles. Those are awesome. <laughs> Any <laughs> particular reason why he wears them or just to look badass? Uh, they're calming for him. Oh. The two-door Jeep. And when he sits in there without him, he jumps around. And then when he puts them on, he just sits in the front seat. Interesting. We're going to get this nice family some ice cream. I brought them. We got cold ice cream. <sighs> going to do it. You want ice cream too, huh? Yeah. Here you go. This one for you. Thank you. Of course. There you go. Of course. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy it. Mm. Oh, Heath bar oh. too. Oh, you took the Heath bar one. They're, oh, they're all Heath. Heath. Oh, you sweet. Oh, Thank you. You took the Heath bar one. One more for you. No, no, I'm good. I had one last night. Enjoy. They're a little.